so remember you will have to have a long term ambition and start preparing towards that from now no harm in taking a uh, guidance from senior students but in every department you will see one or two teachers who are friendly approachable there will be mentorship programs also in the uh, medical colleges go to the departments ask them which books uh, should you uh, buy buy one or two books maybe uh, one foreign author like a reference book it could be gaitan ganong and an indian author so that easy language draw flow charts make your own diagrams it's not necessary that uh, you draw the diagram from the book you can make your own diagrams uh, make a group of two make a pair you ask the question and your friend answers and then he or she asks and you answer this can be a way of uh, preparation for the viva hello friends i'm dr vivek nargirkar mbbs md in physiology professor in physiology and i remember my first lecture in physiology was way back in 1995 so you can count the years and that means the experience so whatever i am saying with is coming with uh, the experience uh savor the moment you have got admission in the medical college your dream has come true so uh, enjoy this moment initially when you are in a medical college uh, first few days or a month or so will go into that feeling oh i am in the medical college i am a future doctor so fine but then you knew while taking admission in the medical college uh, it is going to be full of hard work and therefore there is no substitute for the hard work slowly you will have to come to terms with the uh, daily grinding routine of the medical college and apart from that your own studies so first things first once you have settled down then you will have to have a vision you will have to have a bifocal uh, vision in the sense that there will be short term goals in the medical college there are going to be exams periodically and therefore you will prepare for those exams and at the same time you will have to have a long term ambition uh, i was taking a viva and i asked a student who was not at all uh replying satisfactorily answers were not good so i asked what is your ambition uh, he said i want to become cardiothoracic surgeon i asked how are you going to achieve that because you haven't yet started studies and it's going to be a long drawn out battle mbbs md then or ms and then mch and then get into the practice it's going to be a huge task so that was a moment of realization for the student that i should start from now to achieve my goal uh, about 10 or 12 years later i mean that's a long journey so remember you will have to have a long term ambition and start preparing towards that from now let today be the first day and start preparing it's always said if you want to move a mountain first you have to start with the small small stones which are falling which have fallen nearby start from that if you want to uh, move a big mountain so remember uh, have a good vision at the start of your career uh, slowly you will develop your interests which md branch are you going to take and how are you going to pursue that further this will develop slowly no rush you are in first year so slowly try to understand the subjects as as they come you will develop your interests later on now coming to the guidance it's going to be a mentorship who are your guides in the in the first year teachers yes of course but teachers are not always available all the time to all the students and therefore it of uh, happens in the medical college that uh, seniors become the mentors and guides to the first year students there is nothing wrong in that because uh, seniors are those who have just cleared the first year exam and therefore they have a very fresh first hand experience of that exam so uh, no harm in taking uh, guidance from senior students but in every department you will see one or two teachers who are friendly approachable there will be mentorship programs also in the uh, medical colleges so therefore uh, just have a good mentor who will guide you throughout your journey of first year and even later for that matter all right what resources uh, 
should you take choose for your studies you know uh, there is uh, a fomo in this generation fear of missing out and therefore what they end up doing is at the start they will buy four or five books uh, foreign authors indian authors etc is it really required uh, well what you can do is go to the department let's say physiology department and approach the senior professors ask them which books should you buy uh, generally the departments put up the list of uh, the books and authors that you should read and follow so therefore uh, it's important because uh, very often the teachers also will rate your marks based on uh, the answers if they have been written from the resource that they have told you to uh, uh, study from so therefore uh, go to the departments ask them which books uh, should you uh, buy buy one or two books maybe uh, one foreign author like a reference book it could be gaitan ganong and an indian author so that easy language uh, there are videos notes q banks available at a later stage if required you can fall back on these resources as well now coming to the crux of the matter or the real uh, guidance that i want to give it to you all about the subject of physiology you have been studying physiology even before coming to the medical college of course in biology there was a lot of physiology human physiology and now it will continue remember physiology comes in every other subject of medicine i mean for example uh, ophthalmic physiology intraocular pressure it's ophthalmology as well as physiology csf pressure it is anesthesiology as well as physiology physiology comes in every other subject even there is surgical physiology pharmacology medicine they all have physiology as the basis foundation for those subjects and therefore your approach to the subject should be as such don't study uh, uh, just for the sake of exams you will have to develop strong roots in the subject when you are approaching the physiology exam uh, you will have you will, should feel strength that you have strong concepts built up and even later on this subject is going to be required so your reference book always go back to the reference book and study the concepts and then prepare your own answers make a good plan there are 6 days uh, in a week of course the 7th day maybe sunday you will require for yourself uh but then three subjects six days so physiology will get two days per week uh first day you can make the concepts stronger read the concepts and second day maybe you can prepare your answers based on those concepts draw flow charts make your own diagrams it's not necessary that uh, you draw the diagram from the book you can make your own diagrams and remember it's a workout i always call it as a workout if you want to build a body like a silvester stallon or arnold uh, it cannot happen in a day or in a month it has to be a daily workout uh, through the days weeks months and years so uh, it's going to be a daily routine for you that uh, every day about one or two hours you will dedicate to the studies and don't forget many students they just focus on the theory and they forget about the practicals and viva well theory of course is important uh, you have to remember so many things is it prudent to make your own notes yes if you are already uh, into that i mean you uh, can make your notes then it's well and good but if not then maybe you can refer to the notes which are already available uh, practicals focus on the clinical remember uh, for the first time in your life you are going to give clinical practicals and viva that is a question is given to you and immediately you have to reply or perform those skills so therefore clinical practicals they are skill oriented answering will not matter how you perform that skill is important so practice 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 clinical practicals particularly because even later on second year final year you will go to the hospital duties where this clinical practical uh, will be required and viva 
prepare for the vivas uh, you know there are various methods for example uh, make a group of two make a pair you ask the question and your friend answers and then he or she asks and you answer this can be a way of uh, preparation for the viva or maybe you can record your answers so that it creates a verbal resonance in your mind so that you can spontaneously answer in the uh, exams so there are various methods remember strong concepts physiology is a conceptual subject if you are uh, strong in the concepts then uh, it will make a great foundation and great foundation will form eventually it will be a path to a successful career uh, i like this quotable quote so i'll end with this success is not a spontaneous combustion you have to burn yourself uh, it's not a spontaneous combustion reaction it will not happen automatically spontaneously the success you have to burn yourself there are two parts to this you have to burn yourself literally means dedicate yourself so much and you have to burn yourself no one else will do it for you but you have to put in all the hard work so uh, welcome to the field of medicine i hope you are going to build this uh, great uh, successful path to a great career and future